build of the lifted MX-5 has been sponsored by MCG Auto Styling in Kells. And these are what they sent out to me. These are their uh, budget bucket seats. They're 139 each. Uh, they come with rails here as well as they're base mounted underneath unlike the ones that can be mounted on the side. These come in two different sizes, a small and a large. I chose small because they're going into the MX-5 and there's not much space. The seats do hold you nice and tight. They also come with the holes for a four point harness and they have the holes down my side as well. Uh, using the rails, what I'm planning on doing is taking out the old seats and basically cutting off the parts that would bolt into the floor that would come from here because they're kind of angled on the MX-5 and then just welding them onto these parts here and putting the bolts through either of them. Uh, that's why I think it's going to be the easiest. I tried looking at the existing rails but they can't bolt onto these, uh, only these ones here. As the, has the, these, this is where it bolts into the, this seat and then or no, sorry, this is where it bolts into this seat and then these parts, these two here, you could either put a hole through the existing piece that goes into the floor or just weld it straight on. I'm gonna take out the existing seats and I'm gonna take out the parts that bolt onto the floor and I'm gonna weld them onto these. I'm gonna start taking out the existing seats in the MX-5, I think it's just four 14 mil bolts I've taken out so many times before. I actually still have the passenger seat out from when I was taking out the soft top permanently, so it's only one seat that has to come out. the old seat out of the MX-5 here now. The weight difference between these two things is crazy. This thing must weigh at least twice the weight of the new bucket seat. I know I don't have rails on it but it is so much lighter. So what I'm planning on doing with the uh, rails underneath is taking off these parts here. Just these little, the end pieces that will go onto the floor and welding them onto the um, uh, new rails I have here. So it'll be basically similar to what's been done already. Except that last piece will just be welded onto the new rail. Next thing I'm going to do is drill through these wells here, drill through these two and they should come off and then same over here, drill through that one there and this one here and then these pieces should come off and then I'm going to cut down along here and across for the front and then the back, the back should be okay the way it is. That's one off, just three more to go. I have these pieces cut off now from the old rails that I had. Um, so I'm gonna test fit this into the car and decide how far forward back on these new rails these have to be fitted. And if there's any sort of angle, I think these are a little bit narrower, these seats, so I think these are gonna be angled out a little bit before I weld them on. So that's what I'm gonna do, just bring this out and decide on where these are all going on these new rails. I have the bucket seat in the uh, lifted MX-5 now and the position I think looks pretty good. I have the uh, plates here for mounting it to the floor and I've after bolting them in, so I'm gonna mark up on the rails that came with the bucket seat where these need to be welded on. Uh, once I have them marked up, I'll take these back out and I'll weld them on in this shed.
the rails are now finished on both the uh, bucket seats, so I'm gonna go ahead now and throw both of them into the lifted MX-5. Both the bucket seats fitted into the lifted MX-5 here and um, they look really good in the car, fit in really well as well, loads of room either side of them still as they are the small size. Um, they have the holes here for four point harnesses which I will be putting in soon. Um, they are sitting a little bit high but they do come with these little pads here that you can take out, they just velcro on so I'm probably going to leave these out just to be able to sit a little bit lower. Um, Probably just depends on your height. I'm probably well over six one, so I don't need those pads in at all. Um, I'm already pushing it driving an MX-5 as it is, um, so they're gonna stay out. If anyone's looking for bucket seats for an MX-5, I would definitely suggest these. The size is perfect. Um, it's easy enough to just cut off and either bolt or weld on the old uh, floor mounts onto the new rails. So that doesn't take too long, it's easy enough. They're only 139 euro as well, which is pretty cheap compared to most uh, bucket seats out there. So I definitely recommend these. And I want to give a huge shout out to MCG for sponsoring the build and sending out these bucket seats. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be doing a prize giveaway. Um, I'm going to be picking the winner in the next video. Um, to be able to have a chance of winning, you have to follow the Instagram account, which is linked below, and be subscribed to the YouTube channel. Uh, the prize is going to be a personalized keychain, which I can make. They are basically any car and whatever name you want written on it as well. I have a few pictures here showing you what they are. Um, so definitely follow the Instagram account and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.